welcome back to my channel so I actually started this Melbourne vlog a few days ago when I first got here but I accidentally deleted all the footage off of my camera which included my fashion week footage so I'm so so upset about that I downloaded this program which cost me like a hundred dollars to try and get it back that didn't work I took my SD card to um, like someone that said that they could get it back and he told me it was like nearly a thousand dollars to get it back and I was like I'm not gonna waste my money on that um because you guys pretty much saw everything I did at fashion week anyway on my stories on Instagram so yeah I'm pretty much starting this vlog now even though I have been here for a few days but the next scene is pretty much when I was on my way to dinner um, to Mr. Miyagi. I went out for dinner with Mikhail and Shani and Monique, so that was really nice. So I'm going to insert that now and continue the vlog. Hello, everyone. So I finally have a new, what's it called, memory card, SD card. Um, I literally did the biggest mistake yesterday and accidentally deleted all of my footage off of my camera so here's hoping that um, the place I took it to rent can recover it but right now Monique and I are on our way to Mr Miyagi which we're so excited about we're meeting Mikhail and Shani there and we're gonna have a yummy dinner and some drinks um, I pretty much just chilled out today, got some work done. I had breakfast with my auntie who lives in Melbourne, which I hadn't seen in quite a while. So that was beautiful. But yeah, I will see you guys when I am at dinner. I'm so excited to eat food. I haven't eaten in ages. So I'm really, really, really excited. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday today, which means it is the day before my surgery. Holy shit. I'm so excited. Like, so fucking excited, but also really low-key nervous. <laughs> um, I haven't really had, like, hectic surgery or anything, so I'm pretty nervous. Um, but yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be worth it. Um, I didn't uh, vlog at dinner last night because, one, I forgot, and two, I was just enjoying my time and eating all the foods, and it was really fucking good. Holy shit, like, I want to go back to Miss Miyagi again tonight. That's how good it was. We got these, like, uh, sashimi, salmon, gluten-free nori tacos, and they were, like, fucked up good. So they were, like, a gluten-free, like, hard-shell taco, and it had, like, nori around it. So, like, seaweed sort of, like, fried into it. I don't know. And then it had rice in the bottom with, like, sashimi, um, seaweed salad and like um, the Japanese mayo and all that sort of stuff. It was so good. And then we also got we got a few cocktails and I got the Hello Kitty one and that was so yummy. Um, tasted like a lolly. And then we also got what else did we get that was yummy? We got a curry um, and fried chicken. We got lots of stuff. Um, we got so much food that the lady when she came in like picked it up off the table she was like was everything okay because there was so much left because we ordered too much but um Monique and I did a little gym session this morning it was literally my last gym session for a few weeks so that was good and now we're gonna go downstairs and get a coffee because we are seriously kangry and then I have an appointment with my surgeon so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna see how we feel get some breakfast and then maybe go shopping if we can be bothered but who knows by the way, guys, I forgot to show you what I was wearing today. So this is just a cute little crop from IMG. Standard. <laughs> My Balenciaga scarf. And then I'm wearing white pants from IMG. My Dior's. And then I'm going to wear this fur coat because it matches my Dior's. Hello everyone. So Monique and I are just at breakfast slash lunch because it's 12.30. Um, I just had my consultation for my surgery. Everything went perfectly well. I'm so fucking excited. And now we are literally eating the best breakfast of our life. Let me show you. Monique's looks better than mine right now because I've like... Pulled all the fucking greens <laughs> off to the side. But basically, it's smashed avo with hummus, gluten free toast, and maple bacon. Look at this bacon! And duck up. Mm -mm -mm. 
and a coffee. But yeah, we're just gonna have a little shop around and probably go see Tibbs and Bones, um, which is one, an online store. But they have like a brick and mortar store here. See my days are cold without you. See my days are cold without you. Willy Wonka. The song just started playing in this store and I was like, yeah, Willy Wonka. She's never seen it. What do you mean? <laughs> Guys, I just picked up these pants because I like them and look at this. <gasps> wow. Sold. <laughs> Guys, Tips and Bones just hooked me up with some cool shit. I'll show you guys what I got when I get back to my hotel, but I got the cutest little hat. I'm so excited about it. It's like a little furry bucket hat with like a zebra print on it. And I know I'll wear it, wear it today. Okay guys, so, Monique and I are just walking back to our Airbnb now. We just did a big shop at Coles. Well, not a big shop, just a little shop, but we've got a few things for when I'm crippled and out of surgery and um, yeah I'm gonna be like not okay so my next um, gonna cook us some pasta we actually found this new pasta called um, I can't remember the brand but it's gluten-free it's got buckwheat and millet it's made out of buckwheat quinoa and millet so it's like really high in protein and carbs and all that good stuff. So I'm really excited to try that. But we're just gonna go home now and I'm gonna do some emails and some work and then we're just gonna chill out. And we're gonna get pizza after dinner, woo -hoo! Good morning everyone. It's currently 6 a.m. and Minnie and I are leaving for the hospital now. Just washed my hair mask out. Got my bag of snacks which I can't even eat because I have to fast. And we are on our way. We're almost there guys. I'm just updating you. I'm really nervous now. <laughs> I wasn't that nervous yesterday or last night, but now I'm fucking really nervous. I'm more nervous for the surgery because I never get surgery. I never like get put on painkillers and stuff. But it'll be worth it. It's in the hospital, baby. I'm getting excited now. Also tired. Also would love that coffee. Yeah. I have to fast, guys, and I'm not even allowed water. My because the Melbourne air is so like cold. My throat's like. So I brought these from the chemist. They're like the seasickness bands that you wear when you go on the boat if you get um, seasickness. Apparently they're really good for nausea and stuff because sometimes the medication can make you a little bit nauseous. In my room. My surgeon just came in and did all the drawings. He said my surgery is in about an hour, so lucky me. Don't have to wait too long. Thank God, because I'm dying for food already. Standard at 7 a.m. <laughs> You've got boobies. Boobies. <laughs> oh god. Gluten free life, eh? 
as made by me gluten free sandwich. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Standard. Coffee always. <laughs> this is a really gorgeous angle for me. I vlog. I feel funny. <laughs> And I have boobies. <laughs> Mom's doing the booby dance. <laughs> it's only taken me 10 years to finally do it. Literally, when I first met Monique, we, we've always wanted our boobs done. And she got hers done before me. And now I've finally done it, so. I'm fucking happy and I can't wait to see them because I still haven't seen them and I don't think I'm going to be able to see them until Thursday, which is tomorrow. But I can wait. But from what I see, they look to do. I'm going to go now because I feel fucked. <laughs> I feel funny. What's this orange thing on my arm, man? <laughs> Time to go home. Oh my god, I just want to see my boobs, guys. I'm so fucking out of it. Like, everything is like making me dizzy. What did I do to deserve you? Seriously, the bestest friend in the whole world. Look how gloomy it is today, guys. It's gloomy. But I'm happy. This is where I got them done, if anyone wants to know. Such a good hospital. <gasps> oh my god, Melvin, you look beautiful. It's really fucking Back cool. home now, guys. This is my little setup. Got my bag of painkillers, which is like freaking necessary. My next been looking after me all night. She's such an angel. We had, um,. We had pasta. It was so yummy. We had this like buckwheat millet quinoa pasta with barbecue chicken and this like um, tomato sauce stuff from the health food island coals. It was so yummy and much needed because today I was just, I, every time I ate, I felt like I was going to vomit, so I didn't eat much. But I've got my appetite back now. Probably because that anesthetic's worn off. Oh my god, look at her. <laughs> wow, I actually love you. That's just the perfect thing. Good morning, everyone. Day two of boobs. And I'm in so much pain, it's not even funny. But every time I like feel pain, I just remember how worth it it's gonna be. So it's fine. I've got lots of painkillers to keep me going. And I've got a fucking amazing human next to me who's just been looking after me. I just had the best green smoothie ever. What did I have in it? Mango. Matcha. Matcha. Ginger. Oh, all the good stuff. Protein. All the stuff that your gal needs to recover. So Chase says I have a a uh, follow-up appointment with my... Oh, there we go. There's the big stretch. Oh. Hello. There's my babies. Cuddling. How's the pain today? So bad. Oh, my kind of girl. Look at my dog, guys. Can you show more of her? More of Effie? Oh my god. I can't. But I was only showing my face so they could sh see that it was wedged up in there next to mine. Look at her little hands. She's a little kangaroo. Little bean. Good morning everyone, 
It is day three of recovery. And day three is definitely the worst. I woke up like three times during the night in like literal agony. Um, but that's because you meant to take your painkillers every three hours and obviously I fell asleep and it was probably like four or five so then I woke up and all of the painkillers were obviously like completely out of my system and I was in so much pain. My left one is a lot more swollen than my right, which is normal, apparently. So my left boob before I got surgery was actually smaller than my right one to begin with. So I guess the skin has been stretched like quite a bit more than the right. So that's probably why. Um, and I think I've been using my left arm a little bit too much. So now I've swapped sides of the bed. So... I don't have to reach for anything on the left side, but um, apart from that, everything's fine. I've had my painkillers, so now I'm chilling. Um, I just had a green smoothie again. It was so good. Had the same one as yesterday morning. And I had a decaf coffee because, oh my God, I've been craving coffee so bad. You guys know I'm like a coffee fiend, so um, it's been hard not having coffee. Because obviously coffee is an anti-inflammatory, I mean, it's an inflammatory, so my body's trying to heal right now, so it doesn't need coffee, but I feel like a decaf isn't as bad as a normal coffee, so. But Monique and I go home today, so our flight is at 5.30, I think. Um, we requested to get upgraded to business, and they said yes, so I'm so fucking happy because oh my god I like can't even imagine how heinous this flight's gonna be but now that we have business it's gonna be not that bad <laughs> hopefully um so yeah that's an update can't wait to get home to my own bed and see my poppy but yeah smooth sailing I guess hasn't been that bad just a little bit painful but I'm pretty sure we're gonna go and get the same lunch as we got yesterday again today because it was that good I don't know if I put it in my vlog yesterday I don't think I did but there's this little place downstairs and they give you like a little menu and you pick and choose what you want to put in it it's like a customized salad type place so yesterday I got greens with salmon and like almonds and sauerkraut, avocado, pickled ginger, like all this yummy stuff. It was pretty much like a big bowl of probiotics. So that's exactly what my gut needs right now. Um, because these painkillers like really fuck your gut up. And obviously I'm on antibiotics and they're so bad for your gut. So I think another one of those. Oh is needed these painkillers make me so drowsy it's not even funny but yeah i will update you guys as the day goes on or maybe when i'm back home depending on how i feel. guys monique and i are in the Qantas, Bu Qantas business lounge right now and let me tell you it shits on the Qantas normal lounge it's literally got like gluten-free everything gluten-free cakes fucking food everything look at my plate this is like my first round i'm probably gonna go for about like five more rounds i'm not even kidding there's businessmen staring at me everywhere like i am not meant to be here hello everyone so i'm back in perth thank god i'm still in a world of pain this one is like 10 times more swollen than this one because my left boob naturally was smaller than my right so it's obviously stretched more um so i'm still taking a lot of painkillers and stuff like that but i think i'm just gonna rest up all week in bed and eat healthy eat lots of probiotic foods for my gut um and yeah i'm just about to have a dandelion root tea
So I put this in with my ginger and honey and lemon tea. Um, that's really good for your gut and all that sort of stuff. And then I've actually got, oh, this hurts my arm. I'm not going to open that, but I've got some walnuts roasting in there that I activated and put cinnamon and coconut oil on. Walnuts are really good for your hormones and stuff, so that will help keep my hormones at bay while I'm trying to recover. I also have a lot of meals prepped for just throughout the day because I'm going to be laying in bed and not being able to move. I might. So I have soup, buckwheat, pasta, zucchini pasta, brownies, obviously, chicken, turkey mints, and greens. And lots of fruit and salmon. Oh, and lots of bone broth. And this little angel just brought me over these flowers and a butchie. <laughs> and Meeks has just been unpacking all of my parcels, doing the hard, the hardest job it's ever. Fun, fun, <laughs> fun job. It is Sunday, so four days post surgery. I'm so sore. I think today, yesterday and today is probably the worst for pain. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to spend all week in bed, I think. Little update, guys. I just had a shower. Jake helped me take my dressings off that are on my scars. And also, oh my god, check this bun out. How tragic. I have to get Jake to do my bun because I can't lift my arms above like elbow height um but I just have a shower so I feel very much refreshed I have to wear like open clothes like this um because it's obviously easier to put on and the uh, surgical bras do up at the front but yeah I just had a shower um washed everything can't wash my hair yet so I literally don't think I'm going to be able to wash my hair for like a week because I can't put my arms above my elbows um but I have just put all the smells in my room to make me feel somewhat clean and nice because I'm literally going to be in here for so long um I'm just like actually going to rest for a whole week like and just let my body completely heal so I just put my little incense on and my candle, that's my mom's favorite candle. And I just put this all over my body. It's literally my favorite moisturizer in the world, um, like for my body. It's by Lush and it's called the Sleepy Moisturizer. Smells so freaking good. It's baby pink, it's so amazing. You guys know I hate taking like pharmaceutical stuff but obviously I have to for this because you have to be on antibiotics um, to heal but while I'm doing that I've been eating like lots of probiotic type foods so like sauerkraut, um, salmon with like lots of omega-3s, lots and lots of tea so I've been having dandelion root tea, ginger and lemon tea, apple cider vinegar, um, pretty much the whole lot like literally green tea everything that i know is good for my gut probiotics in the mornings all that stuff so i'm going to keep you updated um the pain's really bad but obviously with painkillers it's not anywhere near as bad but like the night times are the worst because obviously you fall asleep and then you meant to take your painkillers every three hours but Obviously, you sleep longer than three hours, so sometimes I'll wake up in the night, like, literally crying, like, oh, my fucking God, like, kill me. It's so, so painful. But Jake's been, like, helping me get up and get my painkillers and all that sort of stuff during the night. So as soon as I have my painkillers, I'm okay. But hopefully I won't have to take them for too long because I know they're so, so bad for you. But I'm actually, like, just, like, it's so worth it. I've literally wanted these done for so freaking long. And I finally got them done, so it's all gonna be worth it. This is my setup. <laughs> I've got all my meds and stuff there, and that's how I have to sit, apart from when I'm sleeping. 
because I need to elevate them or something like that. Apparently, helps to heal. So, this is me. Yum. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. Enjoy. What a boyfriend. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Didn't go that far. Salmon? Yeah, you need one of these too. <laughs> Salmon? Salmon? Pumpkin? Salmonella. Wait, what's this? That is sweet potato and normal potato mash. Let's not try and be too fancy. No. And then the salmon. All the healing foods for the gut. And, and the skin. Hey, Brinny. So this is my healing smoothie for today, guys. I've got coconut almond milk, cacao, tropicaline protein. This is the salted caramel flavor. Flaxseed oil because this is really good for your hormones. And then the Loving Earth Rainbow Powder. It's got like a million different superfoods in it. Maca powder, which is also good for your hormones. And nana and ice. Hello everyone. I'm back in Perth now. Um, back home from Melbourne. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about why I actually went to Melbourne in the first place. I went for a few things which... One of them I can't tell you yet, but the second one I can. So I actually went and got my boobies done. Surprise, surprise. Effie's crying at the door. Yeah, I went and got my boobs done, which I've wanted to do for about quite literally 10 years. And I finally built up the courage to do it. When I came off the pill, I literally went from like a C cup to, I don't even think it's an A. Like, I wouldn't even call it an A, that my boobs were like non-existent. And not that like that matters and not that that's a bad thing, but for me, that was like just something that I wanted to do, something I've always wanted to do. Even when I did have bigger boobs, I still wanted them done. Um, I got a really small natural size and I'm like over the top happy with them like I can't even express how happy I am with them already and they haven't even started dropping yet so I literally just cannot wait and I can't wait to see what they look like in like three months time and stuff like that because I'm like stoked with them now and I just wanted to put a little disclaimer on the end of this video that um, I'm not really in any way shape or form like promoting getting your boobs done so I don't really yeah that's all I have to say I just did it for myself and for me only and I feel fucking awesome but it's not something that girls need to do it's not something that you need to do to make yourself feel better but this is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time and I finally saved up the money to do it and finally made the decision that I wanted to do it so that was that and yeah I'm just super super stoked with them so the size that I got <clears throat> in case you guys are wondering is a 265cc so that's like quite small I think it's like a probably about a C cup in bra size which I'll soon find out when I go to get sized like in a proper bra store and stuff like that um so that's like what they look like with the um support bra on they're really swollen at the moment and extremely sore um, the pain wasn't really as bad as what i expected i think because i'm super healthy like i've recovered quite fast it's only been a week um, and I can move around and stuff like that. I just can't really lift my arms above my head or really left lift anything that's like bigger than like five kilos. Like it, like it hurts to like open certain things and stuff like that. But I knew that that was going to be like that for a while. So obviously I'm going to be off training for a while and I've been on, um, painkillers and antibiotics all week. So I'm going to be doing like a really fun series um, to get my health back, which I'm super excited about. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, and yeah, I'm not promoting getting your boobs done at all, and um, this is just something I've done to pretty much make myself feel better, and yeah, I do feel better. I feel fucking awesome, and I'm obsessed with them, and I literally couldn't be happier, and I feel like I like, I'm happier with them than I even could have imagined I would be. You guys do want me to leave my surgeon's details 
uh, maybe leave a comment. I don't know if I want to put it in the description just because it's not really something that I want to promote at all. Um, I, ha I know that a lot of you girls on here are like young and I don't think that this is necessary at all for anyone. So uh, sorry about that guys. My card was full just then so I had to delete a few things but I'm just going to wrap this vlog up now. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next few videos, which are going to be really, really awesome ones. I'm going to be doing like a fun little series of like, you know, my health videos because I know that <clears throat> they're your favorite ones from me. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So stay tuned for those and please subscribe because I'm lit. I think I'm on like 29,600 or something, which is wild and so close to 30,000. So if you are watching this and you haven't yet subscribed, please do that. And if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Love you.